Hi, I'm Pastor Paul, and I'm excited to talk to you right now because if you're watching me, you have either made or are considering making the most important decision of your life to become a Christ follower or a Christian. In the Bible, a Christ follower is simply somebody who genuinely follows Jesus Christ. It's a commitment we make after we understand that we're separated from God and we really need Him in our life. The Bible says in a verse in 1 Timothy chapter 2, God is on one side and all people are on the other side. And Jesus Christ himself, man, is between them to bring them together by giving his life for all mankind. That verse tells us three very important things. First of all, we're separated from God. We're separated because of sin. The Bible says all have sinned and fall short of God's glorious standard. Well, what is sin? Sin is simply doing something wrong. You know, when you do something wrong um, in a relationship in life, that separates you. It messes up the relationship with that person. Well, in the same way, we've sinned against God. We've done things that go against what He has desired or planned for our life. Elsewhere in the book of Romans, it says the wages are the result, are the earning of our sin. The consequences of our sin is death or separation from God. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. We're separated from God, but Jesus Christ's death on the cross gapped or bridged that separation. And God is simply waiting for us to accept what Jesus did on the cross as the bridge between us and Him. In Romans chapter 5 and verse 8 it says, God demonstrated His love for us and that while we were still separated from God by sin, Christ died for us. Jesus Himself said this, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The way is a person. It's Jesus Christ. It's not a religion. It's not a church. It's not a philosophy. It's simply accepting what Jesus Christ did on our behalf and making it personal in our life. At Church for Family, we like to say that committing your life to Jesus Christ is as simple as A, B, C. A, you have to admit that you're a sinner and that you need Jesus Christ's forgiveness. If you're like me, the first part of that's pretty easy. I can admit I'm a sinner. I know I've done things wrong, not only against other people, but against God. I know I need Jesus Christ's forgiveness and I want His forgiveness in my life. So I can admit that. B simply means to believe. You have to believe that Jesus died and that He rose again from the dead. The Bible says that God commended His love toward us. He showed His love toward us, and while we were still sinners, He died for us. Jesus was perfect God and perfect man, and He died on the cross as the perfect sacrifice, the perfect payment for our sins. He died, He was buried, but three days later, He rose again from the dead to prove that He had power and could conquer sin and that he had power and could conquer death as well. We believe that Jesus died and that he rose again from the dead. But that's not enough. Not only do you have to accept and believe, you have to confess or make it internal, agree with God. The Bible says if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, that's when we're saved. That's when we receive God's gift of forgiveness and eternal life. The C stands for confess. Confess that Jesus is your forgiver and your boss, your Lord and Savior. That verse I just quoted in Romans, let me quote it again. For if you confess with your mouth that Jesus, Jesus means Savior, that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is the one who is the boss of your life, and that you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you're ready to make that commitment to Jesus Christ, I want to encourage you to just call out to God. Just pray a very simple prayer, a prayer something like this. Lord Jesus, I admit I need you. I need you to forgive me of my sins. I need you to lead my life. Today, I accept your forgiveness. Today, I make you the boss, the Lord of my life. And if you pray that and you genuinely mean it, then you can also say this, Lord Jesus, Thank you for giving me your eternal life, because the Bible says whoever calls upon his name, he will save.